Africa taking on in New Zealand and we're live to you from Sahara Oval, St. George's. Gone, second slip and you may want to expand on that theory right now. Certainly want to when you have an away swing bowler and you have a left right hand opening combination it's always better for the left hander to take strike. That's why I can't really understand that Gibbs took the first ball because it's more difficult for that in swing bowler to the left hander to get his line and his length right. More risky for the right hander. This delivery was full. It swung late. Herschel Gibbs uh, had a bit of a fuel at it. Didn't really get over the ball. Outside edge. Success again for Mills and a big wicket for New Zealand. Out, caught, slip. What a spell this is from Mills. Smith never really looked together. He survived an LBW. Two plays and misses in this over. And now he finds the outside edge. Well, he's not playing well, Graham Smith, at the moment. And with his technique, when the ball moves, he gets exposed. We've often uh, talked about that. And uh, Carl Mills deserved that with the beating of Graham Smith from the word go. He had him out, LBW, in the first over. This was a loose shot outside off, off stump, drawing him into the off drive. A thick outside edge and a good catch by Ross Taylor at first slip. So Smith goes also for naught. South Africa, five for two. Got him! Beauty! De Villiers goes. Gillespie is struck from wide of the crease. South Africa are three down with just 20 on the board just what we were walking for we wanted this from new zealand putting pressure on the home side didn't do it in the test series my word there's some big smiles because now the pressure is starting to show good delivery i mean that is a superb delivery any quick bowler around the world or sitting at home watching on tally loving this that is the place to bowl hitting the top of off good delivery to get rid of a good player de villiers goes for eight it's 20 for three Big shot, there's a man out there, and yeah! he's got him. He's hit it straight down the throat of deep mid-wicket. JP Dumini is gone. The New Zealanders have got number four. The pressure has told. Well, we keep talking about it. Why try and hit against the spin? He was looking so good, but it happens too often. In the case of JP Dumini, tried to sweep throughout against the spin, got the top edge straight to uh, deep mid-wicket, where Vincent makes no mistake. South Africa lose another one, 53 for four. There he is, 23 he got, JP Dumini, and South Africa now, 53 for four. At his disposal, and he's gone for this, and it's a good strike from Callis. It goes all the way for four. Invent something a little bit here, Callis, and needed to. Eventually, he's got it. He's uh, down the wicket. Outside the off stump, walked across, bang. Just got to make sure he clears that short mid wicket. All alert there. And then the placement was perfect. Yeah, just looking at that replay, didn't quite get all of it. It was quite high up on the blade. Which you can just see now, Callis. Up in the air, there's a man under it, out! Well, what a big wicket that is. Callis maybe thought he could have got that away, but it sort of hung in the air. And Ross Taylor, who caught a wonderful catch earlier on at first slip, has now disposed of New Zealand's biggest threat, Jacques Cullis. Well, let's see the movement here in terms of the batsman. He's, he's on the charge a little bit, and he just wants to carve this up and get over the top and just finds Taylor, who comes in from the cover sweeper, and he's overjoyed because he's dropped a few in the last three or four months for the Black Caps. Oram is over the moon. Jacques Callis is not. He's got a start and got out. South Africa, 66 for five. That's what it looks like, 92 for five. Really good for the Black Caps. It's 
It's been their best performance, New Zealand. They've given absolutely nothing away in the field. Top of their game. Patel continues. Thrashed away for four. Too much width. And Pollock relished the opportunity to pierce the cover field. The length, really. That's what Pollock would have loved. Yes, the width was there too. But as soon as it was a touch short, Pollock just rocks back and bang. Through cover, there's nobody back there. So a boundary. Maybe, just maybe, to loosen the shackles. And the new ball bowler, Mark Gillespie, comes back to try and pick up a wicket. And he's got a slip in place as well. He goes to Pollock. Thick edge, up to deep backward point. It's speeding away down towards the fence. Oh, and the first real blemish in the field for New Zealand. Yields a boundary and brings up the 100. Well, Pollock will be happy. He certainly will. Jacob Oram, well, he'll feel he should have done better with that. Start off to the drinks break short. It's wide and Pollock goes over backward square. The point man and oopsie. Goes again. It could be the same result. And there is. The placement is perfect. Back to back boundaries for Pollock. Fourth bunch of five okay. overs for the loss of one wicket. That's a poor little five over spell that. And then 14 14, and then now these two. And then 32 and 22. Plus four more. Poor delivery for more, and just direction was wrong. Well, I'm feeling a little nervy here because when you have a side 66 for five. Well, it's gone down, and will this be number six? It is. Just as we're discussing, 66 for five. Boucher has to go. He went for the rope and over it, and he'll have to make the long trek back to the pavilion. Needed this badly, New Zealand. I was just going to say I was feeling a bit nervy for the Black Caps. Needed a breakthrough. They've got it. Certainly didn't get it out the middle. You heard the incomplete sound of the inside half. An easy catch for Patel. Vittori gets his man. 155 for six. Excellent innings by Boucher. Just shy of 50, but perishes at the wrong time for South Africa. This is, this, uh, this is the beamer. This guy, yeah, really took his eye off it. Can't blame Pollock. He lost that. Toss there the chest. Got the apology from the bowler. Got him! That's a very good comeback from Gillespie. Eight off the first half of the over. And Morkel swings and misses. And Gillespie uproots middle stump. Four overs remain. And South Africa have now slumped to 167 for seven. Well, I say, if you miss, I hit. Particularly in the death overs. Right on target. Morkel will feel a bit aggrieved because it was the back end of a length and should have got something on it, maybe. He didn't, and he loses his middle stump to Gillespie. And uh, Morkel, brief innings. He goes for six. And South Africa now find themselves 167 for seven. He's waving around here. Callum's wanting uh, Long off to move. Now then, Gillespie, can he get in a corker Yorker? He does! That is a beautiful piece of bowling, just what Danny Morrison was talking about. Can he get the Yorker in? And he does to absolute perfection. Went wide at a crease, fired it in, and that is a prime piece of bowling. Jeez, I love this game. What a beauty, right up on the money. That is on the button. He is gutted, Pollock, but he's been undone with a superb piece of bowling from Dizzy Gillespie. Black Caps are stoked. They've got number eight.
and it is that man Sean Pollock. He goes for 52. It's 176 for eight here. Now to Puerto. High away over the square leg should be taken. Here's super catch. A really well judged running catch in the deep by Vincent. Puerto goes for eight. South Africa lose their ninth wicket. Well, it was the right idea from Borta. A little clip there, but he just didn't quite get it in front of Square. So he just curled a little bit with the right hand. The last but second, it had to be Vincent, the speed demon and the best fielder in the New Zealand side. He's enjoyed it. The signal there, taking another good catch, the New Zealanders. Borta's handy little knock comes to an ease. Eight, 194 for nine. Oh, he's got the edge and it speeds for four and up comes the 200. Andre Nell can do no wrong. Well, as we say down under, that is too easy. The outside edge, if you don't get the length right, that's what can happen, even with the tail enders on strike. 24 not out of just 12 deliveries, Andre Nell. Last ball of the innings. Big hit, high in the air. Is it all the way or is it taken? It's six. What a finish for Andre Nell. He's done it again. South Africa have posted 209 for nine and Nell has raced to 30 off just 13 balls. Oh, they just can't stop him. And that bat, he's loving it. Absolutely. Two sixes and three fours. The strike rate for Nell is 230. In a quarter of an hour stay, he has found the fence and gone over it with Gay Abandon. Absolutely loving this game. And after 50 overs, they get something on the board, South Africa. And how the crowd, and they've packed in here at Sahara Oval, St. George's, how they've enjoyed that effort of Andre Nell. It's given South Africa a glimmer. They've been up against it throughout the innings, but Andre Nell has played strokes like this. It's brutal. But it's over the fence. It's gone for six, his second. And what a performance. Change of pace. But Nell still managed to pick it and slap it over the fence. Well, you could say it was a gutsy call to bring out uh, the slower ball for the last ball of the innings. But, you know, it's easy in hindsight up here. Would have loved to see him get another Yorker and Gillespie. Nell over the moon. And so is South Africa, posting 209 for nine after the start they got where both openers were gone for Ducks. It has been resurrected by Boucher and Pollock there with 48 and 52. And then you come down the list to the big fella from Pretoria, Andre Nell. 30 not out allows the South Africans to get a decent score. Pressure between Pollock and Boucher from 66 for five. They just laid some degree of a platform for Nell to play the way he did at the death. But that's a little bit of icing on the cake provided by the big hitting of Nell. 209 for nine. It's not insurmountable, but it's given South Africa a bit of hope. Mills was superb with the new ball. Oram was miserly on his return, and the spinners bowled beautifully in tandem. But the mauling that Gillespie received at the end has given South Africa just a glimmer of hope. New Zealand need 210 after the dinner break. It'll be a wonderful challenge. Sean Pollock will take up the attack and he's going to Lou Vincent a bit of swing new ball is key for South Africa we need to get uh, an early breakthrough another one this time it's gone fine I know for second slip four runs well Lou Vincent has got a very simple game plan the ball is pitched up to him and looks to hit down the ground and over the top, which is exactly what he was trying to do on the previous two occasions. The only problem was that neither delivery was quite full enough for him to get to the pitch of the ball and then uh, hit it over mid-off, which is where he was aiming. Now is the call, he hits his out. Surely that's gone. Surely it's gone.
He set off straight away, Lou Vincent, and he was sent back by his partner, Brendan McCullum. Andre now picking up the ball and hitting the stumps. It's going to be very tight, but I'm leaning towards out. So New Zealand lose their first wicket. Andre Nil, quite superb. He's had a wonderful day, first with the bat and now in the field. So South Africa, they get the breakthrough. New Zealand lose an unnecessary wicket. There's the confirmation, and you can tell by the roar of the crowd that they're happy that South Africa have got a breakthrough. Number one gone, and it's Vincent who is looking to be very, very aggressive. He's got to go. He's gone for nine, and it's nine for one. Nicely played, very nicely played, no flourish. Not too much about the shot, it's that simple. Kept his balance and got it in the gap. So if you keep talking about it, that's just a good cricket shot. Very well balanced. He's very strong on his legs. And he played this one quite beautifully. He waited for it. That, this is the run out again. That's Vincent setting off very quickly and then slipping, struggling to turn, and he was well short. Never should have been going. Big shot. He's hit this. He's hit it well. Has it gone all the way? Umpire Benson's just going to have to check. And yes, there you go. There's the signal. It was up there and asking for it. And you don't have to ask twice to Brendan McCullum. There you go. In his arc. And it clears the boundary. Well, that previous delivery was struck very well. So certainly nothing wrong with the lighting there. McCullum saw that early and he hit it beautifully. Over the top, one bounce four. It's very, very small down this side of the ground in particular. That ball has come, uh, landed, hit the boundary about 15 to 20 yards to our right. Helped on its way out to deep square for four. That was so easy, and that's Morkel's problem. He can't string consistency together. Begun with two useful deliveries and then Stray is short and leg sideish with fine leg up. This is a gift boundary. Mihar takes full toll. Oh, it's nicely played. Didn't have to do too much. Just gets it past the man who's at short fine leg. Oh, straight through Cullis at Shortford Wicket. In different fielding by the senior man. And they'll pick up two. Langefeld. Beautifully driven. Oh, and it's through. The dive was despairing. The stroke deserved the boundary. Probably a double change. Smashed away over cover. What a shot. It was over pitched and it was lathered over cover for four. What a way to finish the over. Six runs from it. 95 for one after 19. Here's South Africa's bowling. Langefeld averaging over 30s. Nell just under 30s. Oh, that's too short. And it's got the treatment. And it's gone for four. Way too short. Misdirected. And the 100 comes up in emphatic fashion. That one a bit over the top, I suppose, in the, during the last match at Kingsmead. That's a good shot for four. So maybe we can let the matter rest and see what happens at Newlands. This game isn't over yet, though. It is uh, looking like it. All the ones are on the board. One, 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 four, one. And a partnership of 100 has just come up with this exquisite off-drive. Very good shot, well timed.
Hasn't been Andre Nell's night with the ball so far. He's into his six over. He's already conceded 41 runs. Hasn't picked up a wicket. Swing and a miss. It's important for McCullum to try and complete the job and not leave it up to the next man. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with his effort with the ball. Then. Shot. Oh, what a shot. How about that? Yeah, don't bother running because it has pinged off the pickets. So strong, both these men, Howe and McCullum. Very good at the horizontal bat stroke through the leg side. Can ill afford to drop short, particularly if you're Albie Morkel. And the 50, 150 partnership, sorry. Getting a little excited here with all the uh, stats flowing in. Just need 50 more now for 121 deliveries. Would love to win by nine, New Zealand. Nine wickets, that is. And just the single to complete six off that over 30 gone here 161 for one that's a good shot it's a very good shot lots of work out in the deep and dell stains out oh very well done it's a powerful throw from the deep and it's going to go to the third umpire the tv umpire just to check if mccullum has made his ground spinning around wants to go upstairs for another look See, now that, that to me looks better for the batsman. The other one just previously, where the umpire was almost standing in the way in line. The curve, the bow and the bat. There, this one here. Now, to me, if he's holding on the ball there, he's out. He's gone. Yes, he has. And McCullough, he's got to go. Fabulous innings. But Stain, he's back in business. Fabulous effort. Had to run a long way to his right on the cover pins. Picks it up and throws it back. McCullum livid with himself. Gone for 81. A good 81. 163 for two. Close. Very close. Out. Jamie Howe goes. Lannerfeld strikes. And something for the South Africans to enthuse over. New Zealand, 190 for three. Jamie Howard played uh, pretty well on this occasion. Just hit across the ball. He's very strong on the leg side, but he just tried to do too much this time. Try to take it from off stump, but it's been a fine innings. The second one in a row. Jamie Howard has gone for 76, 190 for three. There it is, full toss. Eased out to deep at wicket. The single run that squares the series for New Zealand. A comprehensive and fully deserved victory by the visitors. By seven wickets with over 11 overs to spare, you can't get more emphatic than that.